Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshings Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we examine the various cell skewness measures users can apply to all newly formed anisotropic tetrahedra as the T-Rex layer advances. These cell skewness metrics can be found by opening the T-Rex panel from the grid menu and then expanding the skew criteria frame. By default, these cell quality measures are disabled. The very first option, labeled Delay Skew Criteria, delays the use of the cell skew quality constraints that follow for a specified number of layers. The input value must be less than or equal to the max layer's parameter. Once the number of layers specified has been formed, then in any cells failing this set of skew criteria will not be added to the mesh. There are four cell skewness metrics that users can impose as constraints. Max angle, equal volume, equal angle, and centroid. By unchecking the use default option, the corresponding entry field becomes available for users to input some threshold value, above which cells will be removed. Max angle specifies the maximum included base and dihedral angle threshold for anisotropic tetrahedral cells. The specified threshold value must be a floating point number between 60 and 180, where 60 is the angle in degrees for an isotropic cell, and a value of 180 degrees represents a cell that is collapsed. The equal volume parameter specifies a volume skewness quality threshold, which can be input as a floating point value ranging from 0 to 1, where a value of 1 represents a collapsed cell. Recommended values are typically less than 0.8. Similarly, the equal angle and centroid parameters are additional measures of skewness in which acceptable threshold values are also expressed as floating point numbers between 0 and 1. Again, values less than 0.8 are typically considered good, but this depends on your particular solver. Note that overconstraining T-Rex can sometimes be more detrimental to overall mesh quality than not, so don't be too restrictive in selecting skewness threshold values. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.